want to quickly demonstrate another approach since we talked about the SQL tool. It's also quite helpful. So if you wanted to get the same result using the SQL, so if you know SQL and want to use it in QGIS, you can now run SQL queries on any of your layers that are loaded here. So here we have a joint layer that we had computed. So we did a spatial join. Now we have the length kilometer district. We want to do group statistics. SQL is really good at that. So let's just run this execute SQL tool and compute the same result. The way the tool works is you select your input. So we say I have a joint layer and whatever layer you select will become your input one. If you have two layers, it'll be input two and so on. So you can write your SQL query. You can say select start from input one. That means you'll select all features from input one. Here, we don't want to select all columns. We want to select the district and we want to compute the sum of length kilometer. And we'll name it as total length. So this is a select option. So you select district column, sum of this as total length from input one. And we want a group statistics. So we can use the group by expression and say group by district. So now we have this group stat that will run on this and you get the output. Here you can say my geometry would be no geometry because it'll be just a table. If you're generating some geometry, you can give the geometry column and if you want a unique output, et cetera. Now, if I run this, you can see my I have a SQL output which I get a table like this. It's the same table that we could generate, but now we have this generated directly from the SQL query. Another useful thing is if you ran some tool, all of your tool invocations are saved in the processing history. So if I go to processing history, I can know all my tools that are ran and I have the history with the exact configurations. So if you ran some tool last week and you say, I, I don't know what I did, you can go and open this, double click on it, and it'll load the tool exactly how it configured it. So this is a great way to see all your QGIS invocations are there in this. You can just scroll down your history and double click and you'll just see exactly how you configured the tool.